good morning. Please remain standing and join in the singing of our national anthem. And please remain standing for an honor song by Thunder Jack, who is Bear Clan of the Oneida Nation. Thunder Jack, please take your seats. On behalf of George Brown College, I would like to welcome you all, graduates, friends, and family, to this morning's convocation exercises for the class of 2016. My name is Laura Jo Gunter and I'm the Senior Vice President Academic for George Brown College and it is my pleasure to be your Masters of Ceremonies this morning. Graduates, today as we gather to recognize your academic achievements, I want to congratulate you. You have worked hard to get here and I extend many congratulations on this special day. Our convocation ceremony today is taking place on the traditional lands of the Mississauga of New Credit. I would like to introduce the members of our platform party. I ask them to stand and remain standing as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until the end of the introductions. It is my pleasure to introduce Sally Horsfall Eaton, the first chancellor of George Brown College. From George Brown College, Ann Sato, president, Paul Rupert, Chief Information Officer, Dr. Adrian Galway, Special Advisor to the President, Diane Tessier, Registrar, Adele Ased, Dean, Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies, Gerard Hayes, 
Director of Student Experience. Bearing the mace this morning is the Beatle Stephanie Adams, Professor, School of Architectural Studies. From the George Brown College Student Association, Gamada Bucker. From our industry partners and program advisory committees, Brian Abbey, Ad Tech Building Consultants, Joanne Bin, Bolt Charitable Foundation, and Paul Kennedy, Cassidy and Company. I would also like to acknowledge our wisdom keeper, Ed Sackney, who hails from the Muskegawak Territory of, James, of Western James Bay, located in Northern Ontario. Our keynote this morning is Leo Del Zotto, who will be more formally introduced later in the program. And finally, the staff and faculty for the Center of Construction and Engineering Technologies at George Brown College. Please join me in acknowledging your platform party. <laughs> platform party, please be seated. This morning, we are recognizing graduates from the School of Architectural Studies, the School of Mechanical Engineering Technologies, the School of Apprenticeship and Skilled Trades, and the Angelo Del Zotto School of Construction Management in the Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies. Our interpreters this morning are Monique Ledru and Tara Everett, and our real-time captioner is Marlene Finnegan. I now invite Chancellor Sally Horsfall Eaton to address the graduating class, Madam Chancellor. Well, welcome to all of you and, and congratulations to all of you graduates. I, I know that you have worked very hard under sometimes pretty strained uh, situation and so congratulations. And this is your day, you did it, so please enjoy it. I also want to acknowledge uh, many of the parents who are here. I suspect you're very proud and perhaps a little surprised from time to time. <laughs> I was recently asked by uh, two young people who are currently in post-secondary education um, on how to be extraordinary and how to differentiate oneself from the pack. Now, I don't get asked for advice very often by the time you get to my stage in life, so I was delighted. And I had a letter back to them in about half an hour. So this is part of what I said. Dear Sarah and Jack, at your stage in life, it's okay to look at success as not having to depend on someone else for basic living. And I suspect some of the parents here would appreciate that. As well, remember, the dictionary is the only place where success comes before work. How, if you had your way, what would you want out of life? Not just out of a career, but out of life. And think about that someday soon, and write it down, and when you have any more ideas, keep writing them down too, and polishing the thoughts. Be organized, develop a plan, and be prepared to work towards it. Now, truth be known that experience and circumstances and sometimes sad news may well intervene on the best laid plans. But unforeseen circumstances often create unforeseen opportunities, and they often change your direction in life. And that's okay. Follow that road. Now, do you want to be a leader? And by the way, not everyone can be a leader. And without a le you can't be a leader without some followers. So if you want to be a follower, please be the best follower you can possibly be. Support the leader. Offer thoughtful, knowledgeable advice. Don't be lackadaisical. But either way, grab opportunities. If something comes up that looks interesting, grab it. Take the lead. Take a risk. Try something new, and I know many of you have done that by coming back to school and by starting at George Brown. Now, leadership is taken, not given. Not intentionally, but simply by the actions of an individual. A potential leader is the first 
to volunteer and move forward to do a job. It's the first to make thoughtful suggestions, the first to get things done. If you want to be a leader and gain the credentials and title, you need to train for it just like an athlete. You need to study materials, think through issues, so when you have the opportunity to speak, your comments are knowledgeable and helpful. You have to listen to what other people have to say and ask intelligent questions. You need to be humble. Like imagine working for Donald Trump. That's not a political statement. But. <laughs> Hungry and smart. As a leader or a follower, accept the fact that you will make some mistakes. But if you admit them and are honest and truthful, that's what you'll be respected for. How one deals with people is essential too. Firstly, you need to remember the name of the maintenance person who cleans the washroom in your office as much as you need to know the name of the boss. And you need to say good morning to both of them. Above all, don't be superior. We are all of us equal in this world. Don't expect someone to do the job that you wouldn't do yourself, assuming you have the same skills. Speak up for what is right and take a stand against injustice. Help those who help themselves. And of course, most important is be passionate about what you do and make any job, no matter how boring it might seem, interesting and fun. As Ray Chang said, at the end of the day, a good life is not measured by the amount of wealth you acquire. It's evaluated according to the contributions you have made to society, first of yourself and secondly of your resources. Much love and good luck, Sally. P.S. I did notice the last time I saw you both, you were very stressed by your exams. I also noticed that you were a little heavier than usual. Well, remember, stressed spelt backwards is desserts. Thank you very much and good luck, everybody. Thank you, Madam Chancellor. I will now call upon Dean Adele Ased to address the graduating class on behalf of the Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies and to introduce our keynote speaker. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, member of the platform, graduates, George Brown faculty and staff, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Come on, guys. This is the best day of your life. <laughs> Graduates, I wish to extend our congratulations to you on completing your programs of study and to your families and friends who have supported you. Today, you start a new chapter in your lives, and you are to write the first line in your resume of life. As you know, there are two kinds of resume you'd like to, you want to write. The one that you get a job with, which is easy to write. And there is the resume of life, nobody can write it for you except yourself. Today, you have achieved your goal and fulfilled your dreams. You are now part of the industry we serve. You are the one who will design and build our homes, manage our factories, and fix our equipment. You are the one who will make our great city, Toronto, be the best city in the world. You hope, we hope you will stay connected to George Brown College and to help us further cement education industrial partnership that that is so important to shaping our programs. Today's keynote speaker and honorary degree recipient 
is a role model for this type of partnership. You may say that Mr. Leo Delazotto was born into the construction industry. Leo Delazotto is the president of Tridel, a family owned and operated real estate development business. Under his leadership, Tridel has won virtually every industrial accolade and most recently was recognized again in 2016 by Build, Building Industry and Land Development Association with seven awards, including Builder of the Year, Green Builders of the Year, and the award of Best Customer Care. His forward-thinking vision has led Tridel to be green leader in, sust in sust sustainable development with over three, le uh, three leads projects and more than nine million square foot in lead certified builder buildings and lead stands for leadership, energy, and environment design, a quality that Leo exemplifies through his leadership at Tridel. He has united public and the private sector to advance youth employment in construction and created the Bolt Foundation, which stands for building opportunities for life today. Since its creation in 2009, the foundation has raised over 1.2 million and awarded 163 scholarships. Leo served as the co-chair of Continental Automated Builders Association, CABA, and the president of the Cardiac Health Foundation of Canada. He is the recipient of the 2008 CPA President's and the 2011, uh, 2011 Build Lifetime Achievement Awards. He also received the 2013 Toronto Region City Builder Award from the Toronto Region Board of Trade, which recognized contributions to the growth and quality of the life of people across Toronto. Here, I am pleased to welcome our keynote speaker, Mr. Leo De La Zotto. Thank you, that was quite an introduction. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, members of the Platform Party, graduates, George Brown faculty and staff, ladies and gentlemen, my wife and three of my kids are here. First, I would like to express how honored I am to take part in this year's convocation. I am extremely grateful to have the opportunity to thank George Brown College and the teachers here for the high quality graduates that have found their way to Tridel. Additionally, I would like to thank George Brown College for partnering with us over the past six years in support of our Bolt Foundation, Building Opportunities for Life Today, literally getting youngsters over the fence into a construction site to see what it's about. Together, we have identified 430 youth, introduced them to our Day of Discovery, which has exposed them to the opportunity of pursuing an education leading to a career in construction. Of these attendees, 168 youth received scholarships because they met the criteria of keen interest in construction and were in need of financial assistance. 69 of these scholarships were to attend George Brown College. And now I'm very happy and pleased to say that we have a number of these students graduating here today. While this is a grand day for all us graduates, it's just that it took me a few years longer Congratulations to each and every one of you because you made the choice of the area of post-secondary education that interested you. And you committed to your studies and earned an, the reward of a certificate, diploma, or degree. You have ascended to this plateau of achievement and now with verification that you are successful, you can relax and savor the moment. 
Hopefully, you have also developed a passion to apply the knowledge that you now own to continue your successes. No matter what your career path, what career path you choose to follow, you will always be on the path of learning. Your lessons will continue, fortunately, most without exams. You are now well prepared to take and apply your skills, but you should understand that while your educational credentials may get you in the door, you will have to prove yourself. As an example, if it is in construction, be prepared to work as an assistant, where you will have a lot of direction and start to understand the dynamics of working with different trades, suppliers, and personalities that make up a team. Lesson. You're in the very early stages of applying what you have learned. If you are passionate about your work, the learning will never stop. So to that end, I would like to share some of my experiences with you. To start with, I did not graduate from George Brown. The college was started, I mean, I did, uh, sorry. I started working in 1958. The college was established in 1967. And this is another reason why I wish I was 30 years younger. Because of our family business, some would say I was given the silver spoon. And they are right. It was big. It was a silver-colored shovel that I used as a labor on a construction site. More importantly, I had the good fortune to shadow my dad, my brothers, and the trades as my source of learning the business. In those days, we mostly built entry-level homes but always with a commitment to quality, integrity, and customer service. If we did something wrong, we fixed it. Lesson, always do the right thing. If you make a mistake, own up to it, fix it. We all make mistakes. Continuing with my experience through the 60s and early 70s, because of the need for affordable rental housing during a weak economy, the government created stimulus programs that made us go outside of our comfort zone of single-family homes. We had to expand our overhead and bring in talent to build large-scale high-rise buildings. Lesson. You have to evolve and grow to stay in a career, or any business for that matter. If you don't, somebody else will. The 70s, saw the province of Ontario introduce condominium legislation and sponsored low-cost condos by subsidizing interest rates to encourage construction and to meet the demand for home ownership. In an economy with high interest rates, we could not build rentals any longer. Our choice was to downsize or to go, to go into unknown territory. Heck, I wasn't even sure how to spell condominium in those days. It was a huge risk as the public did not understand home ownership without land. But thankfully, we were young enough to take on the challenge. We had to weigh the positives against the negatives and just focus on success. You're all aware Uh, sorry, I turned two pages here. Dry fingers. Uh, you are young enough to, uh, to, to you are young enough to take some well thought out risks. Just focus on success and be prepared. Be flexible, because every plan that you have in a career will change as you learn more. By the eighties. Our condominium buildings evolved and became appealing to empty nesters wanting to downsize, and our market surveys told us that they wanted larger suites, recreation centers, security, and luxury finishes. Lesson, if you stay focused in what you are doing, 
you will evolve and condi <coughs> as conditions change, often for the better. You're all aware that the last 20 years has been great for our country, particularly for the GTA. So the question that many graduates and the rest of you in attendance most likely want to ask is, what are the prospects for jobs in this economy? And because construction will have a large impact, is there a condominium bubble? The answer is no. This is a whole other discussion, but here are a few facts. GTA immigration, we are growing by 200,000 people a year. New housing breaks down as 25% singles averaging in excess of a million three hundred thousand dollars and 75% are condominiums at four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Affordability, low interest rates, price increases are not running away because there is a lot of competition in this city. Availability, finished units and occupancies are in line. The green belt around the GTA is slowing the sprawl outward and pushing buildings upward. Lifestyle. Condos are meeting a wide range of appeal. Downsizing empty nesters, young people preferring an urban, no-car, walkable city, and the convenience. Investors find a condo much easier to manage. As I said, this is a whole other discussion. Lesson, doing your homework pays off. Analyzing the facts will give you better information on which to build success. Finally, to our graduates, I wish you continued success. You are in one of the best places in the world. You come into the workforce with an education from a great institution that has prepared you with practical training to start your career. Now, it is time to climb to your next plateau with enthusiasm and apply your talent. Do so with passion to continue expanding your knowledge and commitment to success. Again, thank you for the honor and the privilege of participating in this year's convocation. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you, Leo. I would now like to ask President Ann Sato to come to the podium to say a few words about this year's recipient of an Honorary Bachelor of Technology in Construction Management. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Del Zotto, not only for that encouraging address, but for your leadership in the construction sector. And I think those lessons uh, were well-founded in uh, a lifetime of experience in this sector and I think will serve our graduates well as they go forward. Your commitment to advancing education and professional development in your field, as well as your philanthropic efforts, have inspired us to present you with an honorary degree. Your philanthropy is multifaceted and puts into practice Tridel's commitment to building strong, unified communities. George Brown is particularly proud to partner with you on the Building Opportunities for Life Today program, which connects youth to careers in the construction industry by providing awareness, financial support, and mentoring. I'm honored to confer an Honorary Bachelor of Technology Construction Management degree on Leo Delzado. I would ask Chancellor Sally Horsfeld Eaton, Dean Adele Essayed, and Leo to come forward Leo, we are proud to call you a George Brown graduate, and I am delighted to congratulate you on your honorary degree. We would now like to recognize the recipient of the Board of Governors Medal. 
The Board of Governors Medal was established in 2007 when the first degree programs were um, programs graduated from George Brown College. The medal was awarded to a full-time student in a degree program of at least four years duration and is awarded for academic excellence to the student with the highest cumulative grade point average. This year's recipient of the Board of Governors Medal is Bianca Savage, who is graduating from the Honors Te Bachelor of Technology Construction Management Program in the Angelo Del Zotto School of Construction Management. I would like to call on Chancellor Sally Horsfall Eaton and President Ann Sato to present the Board of Governor Medal. Bianca, please come forward to receive your award. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian this morning. Devin Smith is graduating from the Electromechanical Engineering Technology Building Automation Program in the School of Mechanical Engineering Technologies. Devin, would you please address the graduating class of 2016? Madam Chancellor, Madam President, members of the Platform Party, fellow graduates, George Brown's faculty and staff, families and friends, good morning. When I look out at everyone graduating with me here today, I see many, many different journeys that got us here. We all came from different places, different institutions, different circumstances, all with different reasons for choosing our programs here. It's amazing how such a group, or how such a diverse group of individuals who had never met, or of different cultural backgrounds, different religion, different race, different languages, could be so united by and focused on one common goal, that of empowerment through education. It is my belief that education is the greatest gift that can be bestowed because it empowers. And here at George Brown, we were showered with this gift. Of special note are those professors and administrators who went above and beyond to inspire, encourage, and mentor us. Let me give you my own example. During my first year in the two-year T146 technician program, I was in the elevator about to go from the second floor cafeteria to a fifth floor class. As the door was closing, a gentleman hurried toward me, asking that I hold the door. I did, and then said to him, I hope you have your fare. <laughs> to which, he chuckled, introduced himself, then proceeded to ask me about my program. He then gave me an open invitation to come by his lab for a tour 
and to see what his students were doing. I took up the offer days later after running into him a few times where he called me bus pass in reference to our first meeting. During the tour, I was amazed. They had built a fully functional automated office cubicle and kitchen in the classroom. <coughs> Among other things, the lights were automated, the fridge was internet enabled, the floor was heated, and get this, the door lock obeyed when they spoke to it. <laughs> I was hooked. I spent any spare time between classes five days per week there. I was soon integrated into the group and I've been employed every summer since. Imagine getting paid for something you're excited about. That is how one professor, Leo Salemi, influenced me into transferring to the three-year building automation program. I am sure every graduate here today had someone at George Brown College who inspired them or influenced their career. And to them, we want to say thank you. We also cannot deny the impact and influence that we have had on each other. Because as peers, we laughed, we played, we studied, we, sh <clears throat> we studied together. We shared, we challenged, and we looked out for each other. We have had some really good times and have developed friendships which will be tested as we move forward. Some will strengthen, some will wane, and some will be completely severed. But hey, that's just how life is. With that, let us just give thanks and say thanks. Thanks to our families and loved ones who have stood by and supported us. Thanks to our peers. Thanks to the faculty and staff at George Brown, and that includes the ancillary staff, for their diligence in ensuring that we had a clean environment. So, as we gather the tools needed for the next leg of life's journey, remember that life's obstacles are there to strengthen and to shape us into better persons. Just as we overcame and reached this point, we can overcome the struggles that life will throw at us. Yes, we'll need help sometimes, but don't worry, there will be people willing to help. In turn, let us be prepared and willing to help others, not for selfish reasons, but because that is what makes life worthwhile and meaningful. I have discovered that if you try to help others to achieve their goals, it becomes so much easier for you to achieve yours. Some people may forget your kindness, but be kind anyway. I promise you that just when you need a helping hand, someone will be there for you. Our journeys to get here may have been different, but together we have learned a lot. The skills and knowledge and friends we gained here are just the beginning. Let's be ready to keep on learning as we move forward, because that's just the nature of things. I thereby extend my congratulations to everyone graduating here today. May your future be bright and filled with success and satisfaction. Good luck and thank you. Thank you, thank you Devin. We have now reached the formal part of our ceremony where we award the credentials, the degrees, diplomas, and certificates, and these become the official documents of the college. I invite Chancellor Sally Horsfall Eaton to come forward. Would the candidates please stand? And that's all of you about to graduate. Madam Chancellor, it is, my it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates assembled here today have qualified in all respects for their credentials by successfully completing the curricula offered by the Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies at George Brown College. 
Faculty members have recommended that they be awarded their credentials in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the Board of Governors of George Brown College, I do hereby confer on you your respective degrees, diplomas, and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the candidates not present, I request that you confer their credentials in absentia. I so do. And congratulations, everybody. Please take your seats. During the next part of the ceremony, we will be presenting the candidates individually to Chancellor Sally Horsfall Eaton and President Ann Sato. To show our respect for each candidate, we ask that you remain in your seats until the last candidate has received her or his credential. We also ask that you withhold your applause until all the candidates from each program have been presented. Candidates, as you make your way across the stage, please follow the printed footsteps on the floor. Right. <laughs> Upon receiving your credential, we ask that you return to your seats and enjoy the rest of the convocation program. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I wish to present the candidates from the Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies so that you may confer their credentials. I will ask our announcer, Patrick Kwok Chun, to come to the podium now. Patrick is a graduate of the George Brown Theatre School. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Center for Construction and Engineering Technologies, School of Architectural Studies, the Architectural Technician Program. Roham Ahmadzadi Cezanne. Anthony D'Agostino. Hussein El Haj, Stephanie Isabeau Daigle, with honors, Umberto John Domenico, Krista Elizabeth Grieve, Sayed Mateen Hosseini, Coral Dilip Kumar Kanyera, Jun Feng Kwang. Andrew Lo Cicero, Anna Carolina Martins de Olivier, Juan Carlos Mendoza, Shuang Chen Yang, with honors, Grace O'Brien, Mithula Paramanathan. Carla Silva, Yanina Aumada, with honors, Francis Akingboye, <laughs> Antone Elias Alemu, <clears throat> Carlos Manuel Alvarez, Josh Anthony Amaral. Christopher Anko, with honors. Ankar Askar, with honors. Seda Asma Arif Sami. Nicholas Aravalo. Malik Anthony Beckford. David Marari Banilla. Lorenza Bortolacci.
Alexandre William Bourgeois. Kyle Thomas Bradley, with honors. Ian Joseph Bracco. Charmaine Lynn Cadelario, with honors. Zaid Chibu. Philomena Faciolo. Zahar Fafi. William Shenstone Fleury. Shia Freyer, with honors. Kian Geng, with honors. David Giedrock. Peter Gikas, with honors. Stephen Giordano, with honors. Nabiha Guafar. Jingle Gui. Jorge Hernandez Jimenez. Zainab Jubu. Martazia Johan. Thomas Captor, with honors. Stefan Karetnik, with honors. Rabia Kehan. Lee Patricia Kellerman. Caitlin Kerr, with honors. Lena Kresem. Noah Thomas Lambert, with honors. Michael J. Lee, with honors. Daniel Lisi. Aaron Andre Loban. Kimberly Loy, with honors. Anthony Lombardi, with honors. Chantal Lynch. Michael John McKenzie, with honors. Mark McLeod, with honors. Kareem Medina. Michael Angelo Massini. Delini Krishma Manikmaham. Christina Grace Marinos, with honors. Philip Markovic. Dominique Jean Barles Massons Gong. Gongche Milani, with honors. Johanny Yaklin Mino Alamo, with honors. Travis Lee Molitor, with honors. Luis Morales, with honors. Davud Motaharzardeh. Andre Nemesh, with honors. Brian Nguyen, with honors. Dao Yuen Fong Nguyen, with honors. Daniela Francisca Olivares, with honors. Diego Olivero. Enes Ozdemir. Lidiana Patricio, with honors. Chiu Long Louis Poon. Raymond Kiambao. Travis Rambeli. Alexander Rocha, with honors. Andrea Almeida Rodriguez. Jasmine Rowe. Dana Carissa Santos. Corey Sebesta. Colin Clark Shipman. Ranji Haresh Singh. Ryan Smith. 
Fereste Surushimo Ganam. Gregory Paul Sousa. Tyler Sean Sutherland. Alexandra Helena Tiano. Pedro Miguel Torres. Perry Lynn Toulouse. Jean-Louis Ortega Trabalo. Min Tree Henry Tran, with honors. Jermaine Witten. <laughs> Hannah Olivia White Fagundes. Yiquan Zhu. Yan Zhang, with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Interior Design Technology Program. Sarah Behan. Leslie Stefani Canizales. Kevin Heyman. Daniel Emilio Osti. Melissa Kathleen Perry. Karina Sancricha, with honors. Lara Tarzi. Mireille Walker. Anahita Yazdani. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Mechanical Engineering Technology Design Program. Matthew Joseph Arrigo, with honors. Tommy Bancole. Pavith Baskaran. Chuck Edger Bernales with honors. Jesus Betancourt. Oleksa Bilaniuk. Kevin William Black, with honors. Alexander Edward Brown. Alvin Capati. Paolo Giovanni Caruso. Diego Alejandro Castaneda Mal Maldodando. Hetira Christopher Kalam. Anthony Michael De Francesco. Jeff Dixon, with honors. David Joseph Dyson Tam. Mohammed Faizan. Gregory Robert Gregoriu. Michael James Hebert, with honors. Alexander John William Hill, with honors. James Norman Hillier, with honors. Egertsen Le. Brile Joseph Madriaga. Cameron Medry, with honors. Bixborg Joey Tarbanila Navarro. Darav Atul Patel. Lorge Antonio Quant. Andrew David Recenti. 
Sebastian Gabriel Sanchez, with honors. Komil Virenkadumar Shah. Farah Sheikh, with honors. Adrian Sin, with honors. Aditya Baratsin Solanki. Skylar Colton Stein. Jeremy Victor Taylor Tapasha. Kwak Dang Trong. Zane Peter Weens, with honors. Juan Carlos Yanone Gonzalez, with honors. Zilong Yao. Guo Xiang Ye. Shen Yu Yu. Xiao Meng Zhang. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the School of Mechanical Engineering Technologies Mechanical Technician Tool and Die Program. Prashant Solanki. Jaswinder Singh. Satbir Singh Olak. Nail Solomon Barigagbir. Marcel Belanger, with honors. Abdelkader Bouktab. Nico Kaka. Leo Clover Cavero Urazar Garfias. Jeffrey Chan. Christopher David Colby. Douglas James Robert Collins. Ryan Emmanuel Eckes. Levy Peralta Flores. Michael Gardner. O'Neill K. Gello, with honors. Shu Kai Guo with honors. Aaron Paul King. Cindyan Lewis Walcott. Yeah. Yonggyu Lim. Chan Wu Lin with honors. Kervin Nico Talentino Lindo. Gurprit Mahi. Michael Ribeiro Martins, with honors. Thomas Samuel McCaver, with honors. Andrew Ryan McIntosh. Brian Jean Nonan, with honors. John Daniel de Guzman Ocampo. Sarthak Jagdishbai Parmar. Akash Devendra Kumar Patel. Pintu Patel. Sagar Patel, with honors. Rajesh Kumar Dineshbai Patel. Manjit Singh Purhar. Hardeep Sin Rana. Manazam Rof. Carla Redwood, with honors. Leo Alexis Ramando. Sayed Javad Samini. Ankit Sardara, with honors. Kun Shi with honors. Tadvir Singh, with honors. 
Wei Sun with honors. Chaimi Tashi. Von Elvin Velarde. Neil Vyas with honors. Dan Jonald Zamora. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. And last but not least, Gameda Becker. Yeah. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Electromechanical Engineering Technology Building Automation Program, Sean Allen Kirk Barber. Jan Derek Velasco Fernando. Jethro Ivan Arevalo Guijaro. Jeffrey Sin Hun Leung. Joshua Liu. Dwayne Malcolm. Dominic Mieszczynski. Devin Sean Smith, with honors. Eric Van. Zachary Peter Van Kempen. Lee Harry Xiao, with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Mechanical Technician CNC and Precision Machining. Kenny J. Abalos Batista. Siraj Ahmad Shukri, with honors. Nolan Paul Sabordo Albino, with honors. Sarah Catherine Berryman, with honors. Russell Kurt Cabusas. Abraham Tesfe Hale Michael. Shanda Hu. Ali Karam Karami Kalarudi, with honors. Paul Malia. Andrew David Marshall. David Miranda. Eric Charles Mosley. Benjamin Hugh Murphy, with honors. Man La Nguyen. Vasant Piryasami, with honors. Gobi Krishnan Radhakrishnan, with honors. Karan Sikri, with honors. Joseph Luca Sorrentino. Gobinad Vaka. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the School of Apprenticeship and Skills Trades Building Renovation Technician Program. Andre Philip Baer. Thomas Bembridge, with honors. Stephen Benjamin. Sung Uk Chang, with honors. Jia Jun Chen, with honors. Richard Luigi Dalton. <laughs> ya Yu Feng Situ. Michael James Finbao. Alexandra Christelle Yonu. 
Homeyun Iqbali. Mike Isufi. Yan Lin Chen, with honors. Colin Jefferson, with honors. Yun Dong Jong, with honors. Michael Lawson, with honors and Dean's Medal winner. Yi Ting Li, with honors. Che Yu Lim, with honors. Iris Linares, with honors. Stephen Christopher McDonald. Mark Morris Solano. Than Hyutu So. Xiang Wu Song, with honors. Shi Yu Suo. Adrian Trabriz, with honors. Jonathan Soriana Vista. Tuan An Vu. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Building Renovation Technology Program. Noor Eldin Tafesh Abu Shamala. Harley Adamson, with honors. Mojib Atai. Jake Andrew Barker, with honors. Daniel Victor Bruni. Sung Buck Daniel Byun, with honors. Sugsu Cho. <laughs> Sung Hung Cho, with honors. Matthew Daigle. <laughs> Luis Fuentes Martinez, with honors. Bardia Hamidi. Jennifer Marjorie Hickey, with honors. Jamal Hines. Alexander Hissi Bowden. Amir Riaz Khan. Young Wu Kim. Victor Lee. Joshua Caleb McCallum. Elijah Mendez. Hey, Eli, let's go, EOC. <laughs> Kemuel Omero. Trevor Patterson. Kyle Sebesta. Lie Shang. Cameron Stitsky. Hey, Cam. Rajith Tharma Kulasoriar. Christopher David Tilsey, with honors. Matthew Vita. Simon Wong. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Technician Program. Ikram Saeed Asanuddin. Fekadu Honda Asfaw. Matthew Backman. Peter John Boronowski, with honors. Justin Chi. Ryan Joseph Cilia. Gianmarco Conforti. 
John Del Maestro. Michael Duong. Spencer Ellis, with honors. Matthew Francioni, with honors. Delore Michael Gallant. Romai Joseph Gebrab. Tsewang Geltsin. Jordan Alexander Iozo. Anthony Ryan Geronimo. Chris Carlos. Taimur Khan, with honors. Jin Kim. Jacob Ronald Long, with honors. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Connor Morton, with honors. Stephen Nordeen. Dylan Alexander Parker. Michelangelo Persaud. Alex Joseph Piro. Ryan Vishnu Ramsamuj. I'll take another one. Americo Sanchez, with honors. Kyle John Scott Saunders. <laughs> Maxim Trichaikov. Alex Trong. Socrates Sinhuni Vilchis Zenuga. Patrick Luigi Viola. Wadia Wadia. Andre Wright Webley. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Technology Program. Jermaine Atkins. <laughs> Kelvin Chung. Nigel De Groot, with honors. Anthony DeCaro, with honors. Jesse Taylor Handy. Peter Lacco. Dui To Huang Le, with honors. Jackson Marcelo Sally. Jason Scott. Lyndon Vase. Marie Villabrosa. Vasilios Zubaniotis. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Construction Trades Techniques Program. Peter Capazano, with honors. Darcy Easton, with honors. Jazli Hachilis. Nadia Webster, with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Plumbing Techniques Program. Andrew Dowdell, with honors.
David Alexander Gillies, with honors. Matthew Michael Internicola, with honors. Ramon Rosas. Brandon Uribe. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Electrical Techniques Program. Ramel Cruz Asuncion, with honors. Cyro John Bacchus, with honors. Christopher Muchian. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Angelo Del Zotto School of Construction Management Construction Engineering Technician Program. Jason Anje. Elivantani Balathas. Gabriel Melo Barreto, with honors. Julian Battistella. Amina Mana Bristi. Andreas Fernando Castro Morera, with honors. Mu Chen, with honors. Ubirathan Correra Neto, with honors. Lupo Cui. Jason Alexander Cunningham, with honors. Anthony Da Silva. Adrian Victor Dalrymple. Eric Thor Dunnett. Mackenzie Allen Goldman. Daniel Gravina. Christopher Ronald B. Harris. Joel Jebamani. David Lamana. The Dean's Award recognizes both students' high academic achievement and their contributions to the college community. This year, the recipient from the Angelo Del Zotto School of Construction Management is Patricia Ann Lawton. With honors and Dean's Award winner. <laughs> Chang Liu, with honors. <laughs> Angelo Mangos, with honors. Charmaine Martinez. Devon Millwood. Evan Nasiopoulos. Nicholas Frank Atello. Connor Page. Emilio Domenico Palmieri. Akash Patel. <laughs> James Calvin Ernest Patter. Tao Peng, with honors. Stefan Da Silva Pereira. Patrick Richard Graham Rogers. Damon Lance Rolf. Faro Zaifafa, with honors. Bohua Shao. Kushnandan Sharma. Daniel Ryan Smokel. Imad Tehaili. 
Nicholas Donato Tersigny, David Trell, Morteza Vahidi Baifat, Giovanni Antonio Vono, with honors. Yu Jiao Wang, with honors. Yao Wen, with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Construction Engineering Technology Program. Omid Abusaidi. <laughs> Monksnast Amar. Leluin Augustine, with honors. <laughs> Peter Bala. Luca Felice Barbieri. David Chris Basalote. Sumita Biswas, with honors. Stephen Bowering, with honors. Stephen Basato, Michael James Nicholas Bradbury, Carmen Joseph Caliero, Matthew Anthony Chase, Carl Maxwell Chavez, Marcella Cicero, Kyle Martins Coelho. Dragos Kostin Kroitoru. James Danso, with honors. David Dallas Diloretto. Samula Sam Dorani. Ralph L. Dotimas. Monk Erdenes Ekbat, with honors. Hareri Farah, Michael Farkas, David Andrew Fifield, William Philippopoulos, Brian Flores, Andrea Forestieri, Celeste Furlot Bois. Stephen Genietta, with honors. Patrick Golek. Ryan Gonsalves. Dennis Gorbanov, with honors. Michael Granieri. Shayan Hajian. Daniel Herrera, with honors. Wu Jin Huang, with honors. Egosa Igeghon. Bahare Jalali. Peter Henry Jarmosko, with honors. Stephen Jeffers. Carlene Eva Joseph. Sirim Kabzahanov. Kevin Kandipan. Justin Jean Tan Kong Foon. Nicholas Lurenko, with honors. Ahmad Ali Manjur. Akis Marola Hakis. Javier Martinez Carandalshova. 
Matthew Martino. Matthew Masara. Alberto Mazai. Jason Mendez. Taylor Michael Moore. Christian Moses Pamintuan. Bram Salonga. Lucas Samaras. Sammy Sawidan. Sina Sherzad. Roberto Ciro. Brett Smith. Mihailo Spirovsky. Michael Sitch. Celia Margarita Toro. Kaylin Joseph Van Camp. Carlos Vieira. Methujan Vignes Veramurthy. Michael Adam Volp. Rupert White with honors. Tamra Witter. Ju Zhu with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Civil Engineering Technology Program. <laughs> Baha Isan Abu Faur. Giancarlo Agostini. Mohammed, Mohammed Riyad Ali. Milad Ayobi. Lawrence Pagba Balai, with honors. Cody Taft Bennett, with honors. Jones Jr. Bonamessa. Jan Buhat. Adriano Antonio Carabetta. Kevin Carrero, with honors. Rui Cheng, with honors. Felipe Coelho de Souza. Brandon Nathaniel Crane. Bradley Sereno da Silva, with honors. Daniel Martin Daly. Jordan Andrews Darian Mar Williams. Michael James Lee Davis. Philip Dimitrovsky. Frank Joseph Domente. Alex DeSantos Martins. Jasmine Pascal Edmund, with honors. Mitchell Gordon Ferris. Justin Rocco Fiorillo. Amritpal Singh Gill, with honors. Robert Daniel Greco. Ahmed Mohammed Hersey. Adamo Yanelli, with honors. Abdallah Jama. Roman Kushalevsky, with honors. Sang Wung Kwam, with honors. Davis Le. 
Jin Ho Lee with honors. Batbayar Majik Surin with honors. Vincent Menado Mendones with honors. Sean Miklat. Esli Miranda. Anthony Mazzone with honors. Fret Reeling Minoz Zenonazade with honors. Alduas John Navarro with honors. Nok Min Nguyen. Wuk Bao Nguyen. Guan Sheng Q with honors. Dave Ramnarin. Rio Ramos. Albert Rugira Busigo. Jerome O'Neill Samuels. Derek Marciano Silva with honors. Adiemi Temitope Taiwo. Milos Viotovic. Johannes Weldu. Richard Evan Worgen with honors. Matthew Zachevsky. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Construction Management Program. Samet Baiselebi, Fatime Bahar Bazorg Ibrahimi, Otto Brill, with honors, Sujiva Priyanga Dekumipitia, with honors. Rose Emanuela Erfe with honors. Alionis Ihanis Sacerio with honors. Espita Kalat with honors. Manaz Salcorde with honors. Amandeep Rajinder Krisha Walia with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Building Information Modeling Management Program. Nadje Dadmir. Akter Ul Azim, with honors. Jonathan Stephen Garcia, with honors. Thank you, Madam Chancellor and Madam President. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Madam President, I have the honor of presenting to you the graduates of 2016 for their credentials from the Honors Bachelor of Technology Construction Management Program. Stephen Michael Amarim. Justin Babcock, with honors. Maria Elena Bavaro. Connor Michael Beamish. Christopher Albert Bowring. Jordan Burt. Li Fei Tsai. Anthony Carmasino, with honors. 
Yu Yang Cheng. Mark Anthony Damien Clauser. Sylvia Kocha, with honors. Grant Coburn, with honors. Andrea Renzo Colavino. Miles Cope, with honors. Emil Crone. Michael Bradley Dawson, with honors. Ronald Anthony de Coteau. Zachary Joseph de Meneggi. Peter Dean, with honors. Christopher de Fulvils. Adriano Di Benosa. Dexter Duvalier. Peng Feng. Blake Fiose. Justin Felice Fortino. Ranel Frank. Delton Frere. Cameron Gare, with honors. Lucas Gobrial. Magdalena Gradeca. Ala Grosnaya, with honors. Harsh Gupta. Ramsey Hammam, with honors. Syed Saqib Hassun. James Funk Henderson. Jinxing Huang. Daryl Jordan Hilton. Rachel James. Philip Capera, Latifa Karimi, Hubert Carpiel, Robert Kojuk, Justin Lima, Quinn Morel Lopez, Wei Lu, Wenjin Lu. Philip Anthony Magaletta. J. Colin Mansfield. Amanula Mohajer. David Mullent. Jessica Diane May Noddle. Salman Parsanejad. Adam Parsons. <laughs> Natasha Pesotto. Daniel Politano. Chen Ran. Evan Randall. Jason Rojas. Albert Sekali. Bianca Marie Savage, with honors and Board of Governors Award. Miguel Angel Serrano. Edwin Xian. Rudra Randy Singh. Nicholas Mark Smuja, with honors. Omar Ahmed Sayed. Paul Philippe Theodorescu. Austin Lance Todd. Dante Mario Tone Guzzo.
Jananan V. Sachitanathan. Jian Chao Wang. Xiao Den Wang. Lisa Marie Watson. Zaya William. Dyong Hai Xiao Xiao Wen Xu Melvin Shwireb Cheng Yang Teres Yavorsky with honors Chao Wei Ye Michael Yusuf Rainy Zaloshnia Ming Yi Jiang Kasha Zelinsky This concludes the conferring of con ah, this concludes the conferring of credentials. Congratulations, class of 2016. I now invite President Ann Sato to address the graduating class, Madam President. Good afternoon, class of 2016. Congratulations on your graduation from George Brown College. This is a milestone I hope you'll remember with pride for the rest of your lives. Our students follow many paths to George Brown, each motivated by unique personal goals. You may have come to us as a seasoned professional in pursuit of a career change, as a newcomer to Canada looking to acquire local experience and credentials or as a recent high school graduate seeking employable skills. But you all had one thing in common, and that's the desire to build a rewarding career for yourself. You took an important first step by choosing a career-focused program at George Brown. In your time with us, you've learned from experienced professionals in courses developed with industry. You've built the technical skills and people skills employers require both now and into the future. But if you're sitting here at convocation nervously wondering what comes next, rest assured that's normal. Finishing college doesn't mean you have all the answers. Rather, it means you're better equipped to deal with tough questions. Questions like, what does career success mean to me? And how will I know when I've achieved it? Career clarity is an ongoing process of defining and redefining your goals. It begins in grade school as we consider which jobs appeal to us and continues throughout our lives as we learn more about ourselves and our profession. While I can't tell you what's ahead, I hope you'll find inspiration in the success of fellow alumni who are using the skills they built at George Brown to blaze their own trails. I'm thinking of alumni like Gabrielle Gaducci, a graduate of our Architectural Technologist program. A few years after completing his studies at George Brown, he started his own architectural company called Geometra Design. He's now designing homes for clients across the GTA and beyond. And then there's Benjamin Valiquet Kissel, a graduate of our Bachelor of Technology, Construction Science and Management program. As a project manager for Gillum Group, he's played a key role in high-profile projects like construction of the Aga Khan Museum. He also co-manages a child literacy project in the Philippines. 
These impressive accomplishments earned him a 2015 Premier's Award in the recent graduate category. With your convocation today, you've demonstrated your ability to set big goals and achieve them, just like the graduates who came before you. The credential you've earned is proof of your knowledge, your skills, and your drive to succeed. In fact, many of the skills that you've learned at George Brown are exactly what GTA employers are looking for in new hires. The college recently conducted a survey and found that employers now rate people skills as the more, most important attribute in new graduate hires. During your time with us, you've had the opportunity to develop many of the people skills employers most value, such as a strong work ethic, communication skills, teamwork, adaptability, and problem solving. You've also gained workplace experience either through field placement or other practical learning opportunities. This is key because employers tell us that what they value in field placements and co-ops as an important differentiator and a supplement to in-class learning. Finally, employers are looking for graduates who have shown they can take both initiative inside and outside of the classroom. You may have done this by operating a student-run business serving as an executive of a student-run club, conducting applied research with industry partners, acting as a peer coach or tutor, or participating in a lab, clinic, restaurant, or business that provides services to the public. Our research also bears some good news for George Brown alumni. Employer, employers told us that they plan to hire more college than university graduates this year and have said they're hiring more college graduates than they used to. Equipped with the experience you've gained at the college and the attributes employers are looking for, I have no doubt that you're ready for the journey ahead. While today marks the end of your time at George Brown, at least for now, it's not the end of your learning. Your career path will be full of new opportunities and new challenges. As you prepare to move forward, I'd like to share a few pieces of advice that have helped countless George Brown graduates before you. First and foremost, keep building your networks. Take advantage of the relationships that you've established with staff and faculty at George Brown and ask them for advice or introductions. Keep in touch with your classmates and support each other as you explore your new field. You never know what doors these contacts may open up. As you build your networks, pay close attention to how you present yourself online. More and more employers are evaluating candidates by checking social media profiles, so be mindful of what you post. And as your career progresses, take time to reflect. Ask yourself, am I enjoying this? What do I want to achieve? How can I get there? You might find that you're being pulled in a direction that you didn't expect. I started my own career in engineering, but I found my passion at George Brown. As I said earlier, career clarity is a lifelong process of defining and redefining your goals. This brings me to my last piece of advice. Never stop learning. I sincerely believe that education leads to opportunity. In the future, you may wish to pursue a new credential or update your professional knowledge through continuing education. Lifelong learning will help you keep your skills sharp and your mind engaged. Our doors are always open for you at George Brown. In fact, many graduates continue their relationship with the college throughout their lives, both as lifelong learners and as industry partners. Once you've established yourself, you might consider joining a program advisory committee, hosting a student for a field placement, hiring a graduate, or supporting the George Brown College Foundation. In the meantime, I encourage you to take advantage of the supports available to you at our Alumni Relations Office. We have many services to help you with the next steps of your career, including professional development and job search assistance. Class of 2016, today you join a long legacy of distinguished George Brown alumni. They are Toronto's key business leaders beloved community workers and nurses, top chefs, renowned performers,
crucial city builders, and the list goes on. Like those who came before you, you are a class of innovators and problem solvers, entrepreneurs and future leaders. Each one of you is graduating with the knowledge and skills to make a positive impact in your community and in our city. I have no doubt that your success at George Brown is only the beginning of a bright new career. I wish you all the best of your luck on your journey ahead and once again, congratulations. Okay, we're in the home stretch. On behalf of the staff and faculty of George, George Brown College, let me congratulate not only the graduates, but also their families, friends, and guests. Graduates, each of you here today has completed a long journey to reach this achievement. Along the way, you've had the support and encouragement of people close to you, and many of your supporters are here today. This is your opportunity to say thank you to the parent, child, brother, sister, partner, spouse, or friend who helped you make this possible. They share in your achievement. Please join me in recognizing them now. <laughs> Graduates, I also invite you to join me in expressing your thanks to your faculty and staff. I would also like to thank the convocation team from the Office of the Registrar for organizing this convocation and to the many staff and students from across the college who volunteered their services today. <laughs> Graduates and guests, we hope that you will join us downstairs here in the Sony Center following the ceremony. We ask that you remain in the auditorium until the platform party has left the stage. I now declare these graduation exercises closed. Thank you.